Okay, this is my new ruggable rug that I just ordered. Um, and this is the box that it came in. So this is the nine by 12 size. Um, it shipped to me in this box here. I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of our way. So I took the rug out of the box. This is exactly how it came out of my box. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and roll it out. Now I chose to leave our rug pad down on the floor and that's because the nine by 12 doesn't come in the cushier option from ruggable. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and try it with our existing rug pad. So I'm going to go ahead and roll this out. So we do have a smaller version of this in our kitchen. And so I'm a little bit familiar with how these go together, but it comes with this top portion here. You want to come in and see this closer? So this is the top portion. It's almost it's about the thickness of a blanket. It's got a Velcro backing on it and then the front of it. And it does have a texture like a rug, so it's not just a, just a printed fabric, it does have a texture to it. And so I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside because we need to roll out the backing sheet first. I'm just gonna lay this over my sofa and we'll come back to this in a second. Okay, this is my rug backing. So it has a plastic just wrapping along it, so I'm just going to go ahead and tear this off. Pretty sure I don't want to return this, I hope anyway. Now this is basically a large piece of Velcro. Okay, so once it's all unstrapped, I can go ahead and roll this out. Now, I need to turn this around Okay, so this is basically just a giant piece of Velcro. It doesn't have a lot of padding on it. It feels almost like a yoga mat. And then it's got a rubber backing. So on my floor, we do have a tile, a porcelain tile floor. This would um, stay in place really well. So that is what the backing to the rug looks like. It does have a little bit of cushion, but it's not, it's not any more than, than a yoga rug would be. Okay, so at this point, I feel like it's a two-person job. This is a 9 by 12 rug, so it's really pretty large. So my husband's going to go ahead and help me lay this out. So I'm just going to find my corners. And they've got these nice little pockets here that you can tuck the edge of your rug backing into. And that's going to help the, the backing not curl and lift on the corners. But I'm going to go ahead and just place this down for now. So we're going to start at this top edge. You want to find your corner? Yeah, I'm Find your corner first. You have slack, so go your way. And we're going to find our corners and start laying this down. Okay, once we get it laid down, I'm going to start rubbing it into place. Yep. 
Okay, so the rug is slightly larger than the backing. I'm going to lift it up and we're going to move this so it's about centered on the backing. Just let the foot drop if you need to, but pay attention to this. It doesn't have a lot of stick until you um, actually stick it down. So we can move it pretty easily on the backing. Okay, and then I'm gonna fold this portion over onto itself and we'll just slowly start rolling it out. And I'm gonna press it out, the excess out as I go. And this just works out any wrinkles that are in it. And then we can pull this back and rub it out as we go. Now I've noticed with the one in our kitchen that as we walk on it more, it sounds almost like bubble wrap popping when you first start. And that's just the, the Velcro seating together from the back of the rug onto the back. So we have three boys in our house and we live on five acres, which means there's a lot of dirt out there. Um, and then we have two cats and a dog. So I really feel like this is gonna be friendly to our family to be able to take this up and put it into the laundry. Um, we've gone through a few rugs in here. We had a jute rug and the jute I noticed tended to be like a dirt screen where the dirt would get on top of it and it would screen through our rug onto the floor. It was pretty gross. Um, we had a traditional rug and it just got dirty really quickly. Um, I would take it outside and scrub it down and I still could never get it clean. So I'm really hoping that this will be a good solution. Um, we don't wear shoes in our house. Our um, pets generally don't go on the furniture, but I do need a washable rug option. for my husband's help. I probably could have done that myself. It would have taken about twice as long, but overall not too bad. And then the washing process for this is just the reverse of what we just did. So you would roll up just this top portion, leave your rug pad behind on the floor, and then this top portion can go into the laundry. Um, we do have a, um, a large front load washer, so I um, can wash this at home, but it's also an option to take them into a laundry mat for these larger sizes and wash them there. Um, you'll notice the rug pad itself, the, the mat is bigger than the pad below, so it just has a little bit of hangover um, around the edges, and that's okay. And then these, these little weights on the end will also help keep it down. The pads also have little Velcro tabs, so they're extra strong on the corners just to keep that nice and attached. So that is my ruggable rug. Um, so far, I love the colors in it. These are nice muted blues and greens, um, which is what I have in our home. Um, I feel like it matches great. I feel like they had a ton of options. And I tried the smaller kitchen version before I decided to go with the 9x12, so I knew that I liked these colors um, and that this would work with the, the decor in our home. But they have plenty of other um, options. I like the texture of it. It's nice and soft. I'm not looking for something that's super plush and cushy, just something that makes our living room a little more warm and homey. Um, so I will um, try to report back after we wash this a few times with how I feel like it's worn for us as a family of five.